Hey, my name is Travis, and I'm going to do a quick little tutorial slash tip on custom shapes in Photoshop. So uh, custom shapes are located underneath the rectangle tool. If you click and hold and click on custom shape, uh, some of the default custom shapes in Photoshop are like these arrows. And man, I can't tell you how many times. How many times have you seen this this little uh, check mark <laughs> in someone's design? Well, that's a default Photoshop custom shape. So um, Basically, you can make your own custom shapes uh, by creating paths, and those can be created using the pen tool or even some of these other rectangle or uh, vector-based objects like these uh, things here. So this created a path. So let's say it's something that you're going to be using over and over, and you need to have it, you know, as small or as big as it can possibly be, and still maintain that quality. And uh, that's what this can do. So let's say uh, this is my current logo for my website. Let's say this little arrangement of squares, uh, you know, I use it a lot, and maybe I want to put it like faded in the background or uh, whatever. So I went ahead and uh, created these uh, paths using, I just used the uh, rectangle tool. You can use the pen tool. Uh, you know, you can do whatever you want, and you can define that custom shape and use it over and over. But let's say, just for this example, I have these squares. So to define this custom shape, you can right click inside that path and click on define custom shape or you can go up to edit and click on define custom shape and here you can see a quick preview of what we're creating here and let's name this uh, you know Travis HD squares and click OK so now I can actually just I can close this document out and now you know the paths no longer there and uh, here's a website mock-up that I've done recently and let's say I want to I want to put those like squares kind of like in the background um, it's probably not <laughs> probably not the best example of where you would use a uh, custom shape but it works. So custom shapes, like I said, are underneath the rectangle. Click on custom shape tool. And now when we click on this drop down, here's our custom shape. And if you hover over it, Travis HD squares, we can double click on it. And uh, with this drop down here, we can click on shape. And let's say we want no stroke and we want to fill it with my uh, orange color. And we can just click and drag it up. And make sure you're holding shift. If you don't, it's all like this. Hold shift to def uh, constrain those proportions. And I'm on a new layer, by the way, over there on the right, if you see. So uh, with the new layer and the custom shape selected, I'm going to drag it out and let go. And now it has created it. And now I can do whatever I want with it. And keep in mind, it's still a vector, which over here, if you hover over, you can see it's uh, a vector. It's a path, basically, which is what that little icon means. So I could scale this all the way up to this. And if you notice, let me deselect the path. It's still a sharp image. So we could build, we could make this as big as a billboard, and it would still be, uh, still be really good quality. And uh, by the way, if you're new to the pen tool and you want to learn more, I do have a video on the pen tool on my channel. So now we could come over here and maybe like turn the opacity really down. So, you know, you can do whatever you want. And uh, also, I'd like to make a quick note that there are custom shape packs out there on the internet. And uh, excuse me, you might have noticed that I had a bunch of these different arrows. This is a pack that I downloaded called, I think, Custom Arrows. <laughs> I know that's a pretty original name. But uh, it's got all these uh, pretty cool custom arrows. <laughs> and uh, there's a lot of them on the internet that you can download. And uh, just make sure you know that, obviously, you have the rights to use them. If you're going to use them in your uh, you know, actual business work, make sure that you know, you're allowed to do that. If you're just doing it for personal things. And usually, anything you download, uh, like these will tell you where the original creator wants you or you can legally use it uh, wherever you want and basically when you download those packs there's two ways to basically load those custom shapes into Photoshop you can either double click on the file that you download and I don't remember the extension it's probably like PS or PCS like Photoshop custom shape I'm not sure but uh, you can double click on that and it'll load them automatically or when you go to the custom shape tool down here and then you click on this drop down click on this gear I wonder if you can click on this gear no it doesn't look like it so click on this arrow to show all your thumbnails and then click on this gear and then you're gonna click load shapes so click load shapes and uh, here's one actually this is the one I downloaded uh, Photoshop custom shape oh here we go CSH custom shape yeah custom shape file pretty small size 70 kilobytes so if I double click this you notice it loaded them all in and it's basically doubled up now but you can also come to this gear and maybe I want to show all shapes or maybe I want to show just these. So film and we'll click append, which means to add to. 
uh, if we click um, just click OK it's gonna only no I don't want to save it's only gonna load these so these are all default Photoshop shapes so if I click on all and click append it's gonna show all of the shapes that Photoshop has to offer by default now you notice that my old custom shape that I created wasn't there and it asked me earlier you didn't save this shape do you want to save it so basically if you do have a custom shape like this one you go to edit define name it whatever click OK and now it's in here you want to actually go down here and click save shapes and we'll name this see so we're creating our own custom shape file and we'll maybe name this you know squares or whatnot but what I would do is probably create that one and now if let's see now if we click on reset click OK and then if we go down here we can click load and we can load up our squares and now they're there alright so that's it guys let me know if you have any questions or comments and thank you for watching